Clay City family, what is up? It is Bobby. I want to go in the grocery store and show you how to reverse fatty liver disease with food. I was watching a very good video the other day by a YouTuber named Jason Fung. I highly recommend checking out his channel. And he was saying how 25% of Americans have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and that number is only going up. And before the year of 1980, it was basically unheard of. So it's exploding at the same time that Americans' diets are exploding in the wrong reason too. The good news is you can reverse it with food. So I want to go in the grocery store, show you what to buy, what to avoid, and why for reversing this new epidemic called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease because it's very easily doable. Before we get in there and do the thing like we always do, like, subscribe, share, spread that Flav City love. But I also want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link in the description box. Thrive is a six-year supporter of the channel. I love Thrive Market because everything you would get pretty much from any grocery store, like a Whole Foods, a Winn-Dixie, a Sprouts, is on Thrive Market for cheaper. You save about $32 compared to going to the grocery store and the box comes to your door. You never have to go outside. Plus, if you want to really compare prices, break open their app at any grocery store, scan a barcode. It'll show you if that product is cheaper on Thrive Market or if there's a better alternative. And right now, Flav City fans are getting the hookup and they're loving it. When you click my link down below, you get 25% off your first order. You get a free gift up to $31. One of those free gifts is a bottle of Best in Class Primal Kitchen Avocado Oil and PK Ranch, and it's 30 days risk-free. So if you do not love Thrive Market, big deal. Cancel, get your membership feedback, but at least try them out. Get the big discount using my link down below. Okay, less talking, more shopping. Let's do it. There's certain medical advice I would ignore for medical conditions, especially something like fatty liver disease. They say to eat a low-fat diet that'll contribute to weight loss and also eat a diet rich in whole grains and legumes because those are fiber rich. Well, that would mean you could come to the pasta aisle and get whole wheat pasta or when we do eat pasta at home, we eat something like complex carbohydrate pasta made of fiber rich chickpeas, lentils, and this is a great brand made of brown rice and that's a very good sale. Unfortunately, one of the founders just died of this company. Really, really sad. But the thinking is chickpea penne, this is something we eat at home, is super fiber rich. Nine grams of fiber per serving. And that's a nice complex carbohydrate that is slower for your body to digest. The point is whole grain pasta or legume pastas like these spike your blood sugars way too much and make your body produce insulin. It's something you don't want to do when you have fatty liver disease. Now that doesn't mean you have to give up pasta. It means you have to swap it out to other alternatives like this hidden right down here. This is a great alternative to pasta made of hearts and palm. This is called palmini. And what's cool about it is if you look at the ingredients, if I can find them, it's made with hearts of palm which happen to be fiber rich anyway, but they don't have the carbs. They're gonna spike your blood sugar. Now, the thing is, I don't actually love this brand because if you look at the ingredients, there's something called citric acid here, which is fine. It's a preservative, but it gives it like an acidic flavor. My favorite uh, brand of uh, Hearts of Palm Pasta is Natural Heaven, available online. Or go to Trader Joe's. They make their own version of this. That being said, this is the kind of pasta you want right here because it's zero on the glycemic index. But my favorite pasta to eat on a uh, fatty liver disease diet would be right around the corner. In the refrigerated case, these are my favorite low carb noodles. Now it's not quite this brand, but shirataki noodles are where it's at because there's no starch at all. And it's six grams of carbohydrates for the whole bag here. Now I don't want you to get tofu shirataki noodles, um, for some reason, this Whole Foods doesn't have it, but there's a brand called Pasta Zero by Nosoya, and it's made with konjac flour, and it actually has more fiber. They have those at uh, Walmarts and some Whole Foods, but on Thrive Market, they have a miracle noodle that has the same ingredients of the konjac flour ones that are absolutely fantastic. Use my promo link down below. Get your 25% off your first order and the free gift. Try those noodles. The thing is, because they're packed in water, they have a lot of water content to them, the exact cooking instructions are very important. If you go to my keto meal prep cookbook, which is perfect, by the way, for fatty liver disease, I tell you how to get the water out of this and make it act and taste like real pasta. But I also have some of those recipes on my blog. I'll put my favorite uh, recipes in the description box, along with the instructions how to cook the water out of here. I'm telling you, you cannot tell the difference between these and pasta noodles. When you do it right, 
The point is, these are the kind of pasta noodles you want to be eating, not the runs that are made of legumes and whole grains, because those just spike your insulin way too much. It's a common misconception to avoid foods that have fat when you have fatty liver disease, like eggs, but that would be 100% wrong. You actually want something like eggs because they're rich in a nutrient called choline, which is a B vitamin that's essential for detoxifying fat from your liver. And once again, quality counts. So I would go for pasture raised. This is my favorite brand, really high quality. By the way, there is some like lawsuit by PETA against Vital Farms. I looked into it. It looks completely frivolous in my opinion <laughs> from the, the law firm of Flav City. Um, still by far the best thing at the grocery store. But there's another place to get uh, essential fatty acids that are choline rich. You just have to go back yonder by the seafood counter. Oh, busy day at the fishmonger area. I like it. Um, here. Everyone, say hi to Donna. Donna, you mind if I move your cart a little oh, bit? No, sorry. Donna's a big Flav City fan. Say hi, Donna. Hi. <laughs> she's, I love the show. She said Rose is scrumptious, okay. and she I agree. She's scrumptious. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Really <laughs> so, fatty fish in the form of salmon. Now, there's farm raised salmon, and over there by Donna, there's wild caught salmon. I prefer wild caught, but farm raised is actually fattier. If you can find a place that has good quality, sustainably farmed, I find that Whole Foods is pretty darn good. There's actually more fat in here, but when I can, I prefer to get wild caught. The cool thing is that it's not only rich in choline, like the eggs, it's also rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Both of those properties help break down fat from the liver. So very, very important. Once again, fatty fish, fatty eggs, fat is good. It's the carbs and the sugar that are bad. The produce department can really help you with detoxifying your liver and preventing constipation because when you're detoxifying your liver and breaking down the fats from your liver, a lot of stuff is moving through your intestine, making its way down and constipation is very common. But if you eat the right vegetables that are fiber rich and low carb, you can help move that along and prevent constipation. And by far the best vegetables for doing that, oh wow, they all happen to be right here actually. It is broccoli, it is cabbage, which we love, cauliflower, which I maybe love even more, and Brussels sprouts. These four are powerhouses and also broccoli helps remove fat from your liver too, but they're fiber rich, they're low carb, and they're fantastic. You probably want to avoid for the time being starchier vegetables like parsnips and carrots because they have too much sugar and they'll spike your blood sugar too much. The thing is, a lot of people need inspiration for how to cook with these. Um, I will put my favorite recipes using those fiber rich foods that are great for fatty liver disease in the description box. And once again, not to promote my book too much, but the first one, Keto Meal Prepping, has over 125 recipes with ingredients like that. The point is they really help your body detoxify the liver and move things out. And everyone needs a little help with that. And those, in my opinion, are the best veggies for doing that. But I'll put a full list of fatty liver disease friendly fruits and vegetables in the description box. It basically follows the keto diet where fruits and vegetables that are higher in carbs versus lower in carbs. But all that info is in the description box. I've seen experts recommend that for fatty liver disease, you might wanna eat something like oatmeal in the morning. Number one, it's fiber rich. Number two, it fills you up and sustains your hunger. The problem is most people put like brown sugar on top, but also, uh, oatmeal is just way too high in carbohydrates. It's gonna spike your insulin, and that once again will make you fat. The problem is those kind of breakfasts are not what you want, but let's say you want something like an oatmeal. I got a great solution right here in the cart here by Brad is this. These are hemp hearts, and I have a recipe to make hemp heart oatmeal. You can either make it overnight or in about 30 minutes. And the cool thing is about this, is that instead of having carbs, it has basically no carbs. Look at that. one carb minus fiber is zero grams of carbs, but more importantly, loaded with protein. It's got the fiber. It's got ALA omega-3 fatty acids. I'll put the recipe in this post. This is something you want that will actually satiate your hunger too, but it won't spike your insulin at all. So definitely try that out. Recipes down below. And I would avoid any and all grocery store um, cereals. They're going to be way too starchy, way too carby, way too sugary. I do have exciting news though, and you've probably heard me talk about this before. There is an amazing keto paleo fatty liver disease approved coconut crunch cereal on Thrive Market. The problem is I talk about this stuff all the time. They've been sold out for how long? Like a month? Months. A long month, plural. It just came back in stock. The ingredients are amazing because it's coconut meat, coconut water, and a touch of starch. It's keto paleo, but because it has the MCTs, and the good fat combined with protein, that satiates your hunger. Use my Thrive promo link down below. I'm telling you, it'll probably sell out 
in at least 48 hours and it won't be there anymore, then you can click Remind Me and add it to your cart when it comes back in. Try that cereal. It is one of the best on the market. The stuff at the grocery store, even if it's whole grains, is extruded processed grains that spike your insulin and your blood sugars. You do not want that. I'd say there's a good chance that seven out of 10 people watching this video are coffee drinkers. And there's a really good thing because research has shown that coffee helps lower the levels of abnormal liver enzymes in the liver. And it's not just for caffeinated coffee, it works for decaf too. And that's important because for people who drink decaffeinated tea, uh, coffee, see what it says right here, Swiss water decaf. Please only buy decaf that has Swiss water. There's two methods of getting rid of caffeine in beans. One is with chemicals, one is with water. Water passes through the beans and it gets rid of the caffeine. The other one is with chemicals and they say all the chemicals leave the beans, but homie don't play that game. Either, if you get caffeinated or decaffeinated, do not add sugar to your coffee. It's gonna defeat the whole purpose of the health benefit. If you need to sweeten up your uh, coffee, you could add pure stevia or pure monk fruit. More importantly, coffee can really help with the abnormal liver enzymes, both decaf and regular. I feel like cooking oils get lost in the shuffle when it comes to reversing fatty liver disease. And the thing is, how does fatty liver disease start in the first place? Well, too much fat accumulates in your fat cells and explodes, and you have tremendous amounts of inflammation. And guess what is very highly inflammatory? The kind of cooking oils we all grew up with, like canola oil, soybean oil, safflower oil. So I talk about this a lot, but it's worth repeating. You do not, I repeat, do not want to cook with the kind of oils I just said. Canola, peanut, sunflower, safflower, inflammatory oils cause more issues in your body and you're already battling enough when you have fatty liver disease. So I would only cook with something like extra virgin olive oil. These like right here are not finishing, necessarily finishing olive oils. These are cooking extra virgin olive oils. And I would also only cook with avocado oil. This is the perfect swap by the way for canola oil because that's a high heat non-flavored nutrient oil. This is also a neutral flavored high heat oil. Avocado is where it's at. The thing is, when it comes to olive oil and avocado oil, man, they make it so hard. 80% plus of the stuff on the store shelves, not necessarily here at Whole Foods, is fake, meaning it's cut with other oils, it's moldy, it's rancid. Watch my videos when you're done or go on YouTube and search Flav City Olive Oil, Flav City Avocado Oil. I tell you why that's a huge problem in the industry and which ones to buy, but please do not be cooking with stuff like that really cook with extra virgin olive oil that's real and real avocado oil. All right, Flave City family, that is it. Brad and I are done. Uh, those are the foods to help reverse non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, something that affects 25% of Americans. And I think it's probably gonna keep going up unless we reverse the trend. You gotta avoid the foods that are high in sugars, both glucose and fructose, and don't be afraid of the fat. And now that we just walked around here and showed you what to buy and avoid, hopefully that helped. If you want to see more videos like this, please leave a comment down below. We love making content for y'all. Uh, check out Thrive Market. Once again, they have all the items I talked about. You get 25% off your first order, free gift, and it's 30 days risk-free, so there's no risk at all. Use my link down below. Uh, but for Bradley P and myself and the whole gang, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.